today I am doing another makeup tutorial. This time it's going to be tailored around fall because fall is basically next week. But today I wanted to share with you guys a look that was so popular. I didn't expect it to be this popular on my Instagram page and I was messing around with just colors over the weekend and I wanted to do something that was fall but something outside of what I usually do because I am a, and you guys know this, like with all of my makeup tutorials they're always very wearable and I do the stuff that I like to personally wear so this time I just messing around with colors I found this color green and I just thought it was really interesting I'm like okay what can I do with green um, without looking too colorful and I just ended up putting it on my eyelid and I really 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 loved it so um, this palette is from BH Cosmetics and it has the green that I used, but it really guys, it can just be any green eyeshadow that you have so you don't have to purchase the entire palette. Um, I don't even know if they still sell this. This is probably like a year old. Um, but yeah, green eyeshadow, a dark brown, a pink lip, and you are out the door. And then I also ended up putting some hair extensions because I haven't um, worn extensions in a really long time. So. All of this really did take a long time, but still, it's it's a lot of fun. So I hope you guys get a chance to do it. If you do, please make sure to hashtag Dulce Candy on Instagram, and I can't wait to see what you guys create. So let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm gonna start off this eyeshadow look by taking my Too Faced Shadow Insurance, which is just an eyeshadow primer. If you're new to the makeup world, this is a definite number one step in every single makeup tutorial. So apply this to your lash line, all the way up to your brow bone, and also on that lower lash line. So now this is the fun part, which is the color green. I'm sure you guys have a green eyeshadow in your makeup collection that you never use. If you're like me, you can pull it out today and get some really great use out of this. The color in particular is in, um, it's called Emerald. But honestly guys, any shade of green works depending on your mood. But if you want to get something closer to the look that I'm creating, definitely go for a shade called Emerald. So what I'm doing is taking the green and packing it onto my eyelid only. And this color is also matte. So it doesn't have any, any shimmer at all, guys. Which is actually pretty cool, but it can be a little difficult to blend. And also, all the brushes that I'm using in my video today are from Sigma because I just got a whole new set of brushes. So it feels really nice when you get new ones and I decided to use them today. So I'm also taking this color and applying it to my lower lash line. And then with a clean blending brush, I'm just taking the color and just blending out the edges very gently. The next color that you're going to need is a dark matte brown. Now I'm using a smaller tapered blending brush to pack on the color in an outer V shape. And then I'm going to go back in with a clean, more full blending brush to smoke out the color. Now this technique that I'm about to do here is not really like this crazy technique, but honestly it makes the biggest difference. You have to have a very soft hand when it comes to blending your eyeshadows because you don't want to move the color brown all over the eyelid. You just want to keep it there, but you want to make sure that it's smoky and well blended. Now I'm also taking the same dark brown color and adding it right on top of the green on my lower lash line. And then the last color that I'm taking guys, very simple, right? The last color is just a matte vanilla highlight. And that's gonna go right beneath the highest peak of my brow. Now the next thing that, we're, uh, that I'm doing is eyeliner. This is from Sigma and it's called Stand Out Eyes in Wicked. It's a matte black cream formula. And the only thing that I'm doing different here is that in order for me to elongate my eyes, this is also a really great tip if you have really uh, narrow eyes, is to go into the inner tear duct and extend it by creating this little very, very subtle peak. 
You don't want to go too dramatic. You want to make it very, very subtle if you want it to be a little bit more wearable. But if you have smaller eyes, this is really going to open up your eyes and make them appear a little bit longer. And of course, I'm also doing my classic wing by just flicking it out and filling in the little wing. Now you want to take a black pencil liner and add that color to your waterline. And now I'm taking my high caliber lash mascara from Sigma and I'm just going to give my lower lashes one coat. Now I gotta give it up to Vegas Snay for creating these gorgeous, gorgeous lashes that I picked up at my local CVS drugstore, or I think I got them at Target, I'm not even sure guys, but honestly, these lashes are the business. Like, first of all, they're layered, they're flared out at the end, and they're full, so these are instant glamour in a second. So I'm gonna pop these little babies on, and that's basically the final step when it comes to my eyes. So now moving on to the face, I'm gonna start off with my So Cool Eye Stick from Panda Dream. This is a Korean beauty product that I discovered and I have to do a haul for you guys. But anyways, what this product basically does is hydrate the skin around the eyes, which is perfect for prepping when it comes to concealer so you don't have any creasing or any flakiness. And now it's time for foundation. We're gonna make my skin look really flawless with this Tarte foundation. So I'm pretty much going to apply it with a flat uh, foundation brush and then buff it out with a stippling brush. Um, I kind of started the other way around, but I really found that applying the foundation in a more precise way with this a black foundation brush. And then I'm just going to buff it out all over my skin to give my, uh, my face a very beautiful, medium to full coverage um, effect. So now, thanks to you guys following your recommendations, I'm actually putting a foundation on my neck. My last video that I did for cover effects I looked like I had a different color head and my neck was totally different so this time I'm gonna buff out some foundation on my neck honestly I just didn't want to do it because I didn't want to damage the skin on my neck you know what I mean do you yeah I'm gonna do it for you guys today anyways next thing is concealer I'm using the Maracuja creaseless concealer in medium which is a pretty heavy concealer it's very sticky definitely full coverage. So what you want to do when you work with a product like this is work in patty motion. So you pack on the color or the concealer in this case, you pack it on so you can conceal any uh, discoloration, any purpleness, uh, dark circles, not puffy bags, nothing like that, but definitely color. And I pat it and then I have a, several uh, blending techniques and tools that I use to blend this concealer in particular, just because it is pretty heavy. So what I like to use is a sponge or a beauty blender. This, the orange sponge that I use is from Real Techniques. And I just start to dab the, the product. And then I move on to a tapered blending brush just to kind of blend out the edges of the concealer closer to my um, lower lash line where I have eyeshadow because I definitely do not want to conceal or interrupt the eyeshadow. So I like to use a blending brush like this one just to get some blending action going on without disturbing my shadow. Now next to my Laura Mercier uh, finishing powder, this one from Tarte is pretty amazing as well guys. Honestly, when you put this on to set your concealer in place, it is not going to move anywhere, it's not going to look cakey, and it's going to look honestly so flawless. So I'm just going to dust the majority of the powder onto my concealer and then whatever's left I'm just going to um, run the brush through my face with the leftovers.
Now you guys know I love to do some contour. That is no secret of any makeup fanatic. We love to contour and just use makeup. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Contour Kit and just take the darkest shadow, or I'm sorry, bronzer that you have and start by working yourself some color onto the hollow parts of your cheekbones. I'm also going to drag this color through my lash, uh, I'm sorry, my hairline and also through my temples and my jaw. And then with a stippling brush, I'm going to apply some of the highlight onto my cheekbones. This, guys, is going to give you like an instant facelift without surgery. Isn't that amazing what makeup can do? Yeah, I know. That's why I'm obsessed. And now I'm going to show you the final lip combination that I think is perfectly paired with green eyes, which is a pink lip. If you want to follow my lip recipe, what I'm using is a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury called Pillow Talk. Now her lip liners are called Lip Cheat because basically I think she made these for older women in particular because when you get older, your lip line starts to fade out. You don't really know where your uh, lips start. So the lip cheat is basically to draw on lips and she has beautiful, beautiful neutral um, colors that work on every skin tone or most skin tones, not every skin tone. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to line my lips first in this beautiful shade of pink. And then I'm gonna top it off with my Lorac Pro Matte Lip Color. It doesn't even matter that it's matte for this. You can definitely leave it matte but the eyes are pretty matte themselves. So what I'm gonna do, I just really like the, um, the shade color of this lip product. So I am going to top it off and add some gloss to my face to balance things out. You know, we have shimmer on the, on the cheekbones and now I'm going to add some gloss on my lips. This is from Makeup Forever and it's called Plexiglass. The color is 202. And it's just a gorgeous, very, very glossy high shine lip gloss in pink. And yeah guys, that is basically the entire, entire makeup tutorial. So here we have the final look. I am completely done with my hair and makeup and I am just really, really loving this dark, smoky green and brown eye with a soft, beautiful pink lip. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And please make sure to subscribe to my channel for more videos and stay tuned for the pumpkin spice latte. So delicious, you guys are gonna love it. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.